In this video, you will learn the Project Management Body of Knowledge, often referred to as PMBOK, 10 knowledge areas. These 10 knowledge areas provide the framework for researching, planning and implementing projects. This image has been sourced from Information Technology Project Management by Cathy Schwalb. Under the PMBOK methodology, these are often used in a project charter and provide the basis for project planning and implementation. First, stakeholders have needs and expectations, and the 10 knowledge areas help project managers to plan and execute a project to meet those needs and expectations. The 10 knowledge areas are scope management, time management, cost management, quality management, resource management, communications management, risk management, procurement management, and stakeholder management, with integration in the centre showing that all of these knowledge areas are deeply connected. Each of these areas needs to be carefully planned and managed. Scope management refers to what you will do or deliver, what's in the project. For example, a project to renovate or remodel a house might include renovating the kitchen, bathroom and deck area. That would be the scope. Time management is mainly about figuring out when tasks and activities need to be done and in what order, then keeping the project on track. For example, in the renovation, you would need to uninstall the old kitchen before installing the new one. Cost management is working out the project costs and budget, then making sure the project stays within its approved budget. Quality management is making sure that the project is delivered to the correct standard or specifications. For example, if the kitchen specifications state stainless steel appliances, you will want to ensure you receive stainless steel appliances. Resource management is determining and managing the resources you need to complete the project. This is mainly human resources and allocating people to tasks and managing performance. Sometimes there may be equipment or other resources too though. All projects get done through people working together so communications management is needed to ensure everyone is communicating effectively throughout the project. Risk management is about identifying and managing project risks. For example, a risk to the renovation project could be injury to a worker. A project manager needs to anticipate risks and make plans to address them. Procurement is another word for purchasing or buying and might also be considered supply chain management for a project. You may need to purchase equipment, expertise or other products and services. Procurement management helps you identify and manage supply and suppliers. For example, on the renovation project you would need to procure kitchen cabinetry and appliances for the kitchen and tiling for the bathroom and wood for the deck, plus some tradespeople to do the work. Stakeholders are individuals and groups who impact your project and those that you also influence. For example, stakeholders on the renovation project would include the homeowner, the builder or contractor, suppliers and tradespeople. Sometimes stakeholders can be external too, like the local government or council. Integration management is ensuring all the knowledge areas match well together. For example, that scope of work matches the time available, that the costs have been estimated based on the scope, time and quality required, that the right people are in place to get the project done and so forth. All of these knowledge areas should be consistent with each other. This model shows that there are good tools and techniques that should be used to manage all of these 10 knowledge areas. For example, scope is managed using a tool called a work breakdown structure and a schedule is used for time management. This model says that if you use these tools well, you increase the likelihood of project success. What's more, if all projects in one portfolio apply the same good tools and techniques using all the 10 knowledge areas, 
the whole portfolio is more likely to be successful. This should then lead to enterprise success as a whole as all projects are being managed well.